put your motherfucking hands on me. What you gonna do with it? What? Bitch! Uh, you put, you put your hands on my daughter, bitch! You my house, you ain't bitch! Stop! Gotcha. Why you want, bitch? You motherfucker, you got bitch! My daughter! What is your daughter? I rich! I rich! Oh my goodness! goodness. Brian, come help me break it up! So you gave me this Vanessa a concussion. I hope she falls to sleep with that concussion. I could have ended her entire existence, but instead I chose to give her a concussion. And as for her daughter, that fucking animal, had she gotten past your brother and touched me, Louis Vuitton would have been a motherless child right now. Go get the door. So y'all's mama has talked to me about everything that's been going on and I feel like you just got time. here. We really don't care what you have to say. Kyrie, you disrespect me again. I'm going to knock your whole head off. I'm going to hit you so hard that you're going to experience vision and memory loss. Now, Savon, you ain't got shit I need to say to me. What? You ain't got shit to say to me. Keep that shit over there with them. Don't bring that shit over here. Get your bitch ass on somewhere coming up in here like you run right. shit. Savon, I will demolish you. You think you like that, but you have not seen me. I will tear your ass up. All three of you. Now the next person that decides to let their daddy issues get the best of them, I'm rocking your shit. You have a son and no job. I got a problem with that. You have one month to get a job. I'm done talking to you. You want to keep them? Because I'll take them out. Both of them. Roll them again. What are you talking about? Shut up! Dad, I don't want no problems. I just want to be gay and not be penalized for it. That's fine, son. You can be gay. But what you're not going to be doing at 16 is bending anybody over. And if I find out that you have, you can say goodbye to Trenton. Now, I have some exciting news for y'all. I'm moving back to town and y'all will be at my house every weekend. Huh? How does that sound? Girl, just seeing him yell at them did something to me. Mom! <sighs> Mom! Oh, girl, let me call you back. So, you're really gonna let that man just come in here and talk to us like that? You just let him come in here after being gone for eight years and disrespect us like that? And you didn't even say anything? Well, he is daddy. <laughs> I mean, he's y'all's daddy. And I can't control how he's talking to y'all. I'm just glad he said he was okay with meeting Trenton. Don't nobody care about no damn Trenton. You better be glad I didn't tell that man y'all be playing in each other's booty. Mama, are you really about to send us to his house every weekend? Are y'all yelling at me? Wait a minute, because I've been waiting years to say this. Do I need to call y'all's daddy? <laughs> Do I need to call y'all's daddy? Do I need to call your father? <laughs> Do I need to get your daddy on the line? Okay, mama. Was that a threat, Kyrie? Do you want me to tell him you threatening me? Oh my God, I finally get to meet Michael's other children. Your father wanted to be here, but he had more important matters to attend to, like a business meeting. Okay, and who are you? Oh, where are my manners? I'm your dad's wife, Karen. Okay, Karen, where do me and my brothers sleep? Well, we have three beautiful biracial children that have their own rooms, so I'm going to have to put you guys in the guest bedroom. Um, I figured one of you guys can sleep on the floor and the other two can sleep on the bed. I'm pretty sure that's what you guys do at your two-bedroom apartment. Wait, what? Y'all, I'm about to spit on this bitch. Oh, you're an ignorant Karen. We live in a four-bedroom, two-story house, paid in full by my mother, Tamika Jackson, for your information, bitch. Get your facts straight, ho. Come on, let's go, y'all. Tamika, it is finally nice to meet you. I wanted to sit and talk to you about the boys. Their behavior this past Saturday was completely unacceptable. Do you mind if I have a conversation with my ex-husband? Ah! Tamika, what ah! the hell? Ah! Michael, please explain to me why my children, why my children arrived at your home to an unidentified white woman insulting them. I was at work and she is my wife and I told her to take care of them until I got home. Oh. 
Okay, honey, I got you. <laughs> Tibby, I can't believe you put your hands on my wife. I don't give a fuck, Michael. That's for her telling one of my kids they got to sleep on the floor. Look, I'm going to give you time to get your Becky's mouth under control and your house in order before my children's next visit. Have a good day. <laughs> Karen, thank you for joining us today. Now, y'all both are stressing my son out, so I have both y'all here in hopes that y'all can talk things out like grown women. I want an apology. You ain't getting shit. Your kids came into my house being disrespectful. Me and their father, your husband, have taken care of it. You know what? I think it's time for the boys to meet their siblings. Your kids are toddlers, three and under. What do they have in common with my teenage sons? <laughs> Actually, Tamika, my kids are 15, 10, and eight years of age. I believe Kyrie's 15 as well. It's crazy how close in age they are. Mama, how long do you plan on staying? Girl, San Antonio got too much going on. And I hear you out here shooting at bitches and missing. I know you didn't see me take out at least five of your daddy's wives growing up. So I'm confused as to why Michael's wife is still walking around. Well, Grandma, I'm happy you're here. And I can't wait for you to meet my baby mama and our son. Mm-mm. Your mama told me that your baby mama got rabies. And I'm sure the baby got it too. Uh, Brian, what's this to hear about you liking little boys now? Timmy, can you let him like little boys now? She doesn't have a choice, Grandma. Oh, so he's the parent and you're the child now. Got it. What my baby Kyrie been up to? He's been fighting and getting kicked out of class. No, grandma, them teachers don't like me. Oh, so they need me to go up there and show my ass then. Tamika, you ain't went up there yet. Mama, it's not the teachers. It's Kyrie. He does not like to listen. No, nah, it's them. It's okay. I got something for their ass messing with my grandbaby. Y'all take my stuff upstairs. I ain't going nowhere. Well, Michael, I'm not 100% comfortable with my son meeting your other children yet. I mean, their mother did just try to kill me. Oh Honey, my please. gosh. I have dealt with that, okay? My sons pose no threat to you. Oh, Karen, shut up. This isn't about you. This is about Kawhi meeting his brothers. Pamela, do not speak to me like that in front oh of my, my son, God. okay? Enough. Now, Kawhi, are you ready to meet your brothers? Am I ready to meet my brothers that I now have to share you, your money, and your house with? Oh my God. Seriously, Kawhi? Yeah, Dad, I'm ecstatic. Don't be like that. Now, your brothers are a little different from you, so when you meet them, give them a chance. Oh, no, mom said that they're from the east side of San Antonio and to call the cops if they make me uncomfortable. All right, Savon, Brian, Kyrie, this is your brother, Kawhi. What's up? It's nice to meet you, Kawhi. It's nice to meet you, too. Dad, what is the Kawhi? Did you mean to name him Hawaii? No, it's Kawhi. And Dad, what is a Kyrie? Did you mean to name him Caillou? Oh, shit! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Y'all done? Because y'all gonna spend this whole week and get to know each other. Dad, we got to get to know you first before we get to know your son, Kawasaki. Kaiju, do you want to fight? Yes, no. I do. Kyrie, I do. Stop. I do. No. I do. All right, boys. So I was thinking maybe we can go to the mall today or catch a movie later. I'm down with that, Mom. I know you are, baby. You guys want to go to the mall with us? Sure. Yeah, that sounds fun. Great. Kyrie. Nah, I'm just trying to do my two days with your husband and go home. <laughs> yes, and I agree with you. But your dad wanted me to get you guys out the house. I said no, Karen. Kyrie, don't talk to my mama like that. Kawhi, your ass whooping is still pending. You're threatened by me, just admit it. You talk Kyrie, all this stop. shit like you think thinking bad, but you're not. We are not like, going you're to not. do this. I'm not going to disrespect my parents' house and lay your ass out. Because you know I will. I, what the fuck, bro? Shit. You hit my mom! I meant to hit him. Kawhi, what do you want to eat? I don't care. Mom, who's that? Kawhi, go to your room and call 911. Honey, come over here now. Tammy, you got five seconds to get the hell out of my house. No, 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 honey, that won't be necessary. Uh, I invited her over. Uh, Tammy came into the office today and uh, we talked. And, and I think the best way to handle Kyrie is by sending him to therapy. 
I originally suggested sending him to therapy, but you said you would press charges if I didn't send him to military school. Well, I've, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I think the best approach is to send him to therapy. I'm 100% okay with that. All right, Tammy, it was nice meeting you. You going to introduce us, Brian? Mom, Dad, this is Trenton. It's nice to meet you, Trenton. Look, I accept my son, and I accept you too. I accept y'all's decision. But remember that y'all are still young. How long has this been going on? Uh, for about a year. A year? A whole year. Brian, you just came out four months ago. Samika. So who's doing the bending? Uh, nobody. Both of us. Both of us, we both take turns doing it. We're both doing the bending. Breathe, mama. Breathe. Hey, Brian, have you seen my Skittles? I can't find them. This sounds like a personal problem. Did you eat my Skittles? I don't know, did I? I'm gonna ask you one more time. Did you eat my Skittles? Yes, yes, I did. I did, get over it. Be prepared to taste the rainbow. Mom, can I go to Josh's house? I clean my closet. That's fine, but I need all your shoes that you don't want to wear in the back so I can give them the goodwill. Yes, ma'am. And call me as soon as you get to that boy's house, Kyrie. Don't make me call his mom I, to make sure I you're will, there. I will, mama. I will. Um, Kyrie, didn't mama tell you to clean your room? It is still a mess. So you cleaned your closet, but not your room? Well, mama, you told me to just get all my dirty clothes off the floor. I got them off the floor. I don't want to hear that shit. Go take care of that, and you can try to go to Josh's house another day. Mom, can I go to Trenton's house? My room is clean and my closet is clean. Ooh, that exhale sounded a little homophobic. Yes, yes, you can. Call me as soon as you get there. Hey, Mom, catch. Kyrie, where did you get this? I found it in Brian's trash can in his room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go play my game. Okay, Kawhi, I need you to wash all the dishes and then you're done with your chores for the day. Okay. Brian, I need you to mop the kitchen floor, vacuum the carpets in the house. I need you to fold everyone's clothes. And then I need you to go clean Kawhi's room and clean the guest bedroom that you and your brother sleep in. Are you serious? And Kyrie, you can cut the grass in the front, back, and side of the house. Karen, Kawhi doesn't have that many chores. How about he goes out there and help Kyrie cut the grass? No, Kawhi is light-skinned and has sensitive skin. I don't want him getting dark from being outside. But my brother can go outside in the hot sun, though. Brian, I'm sure your mother has you guys outside all the time. Look, this isn't a negotiation, okay? Your father told me to contact him if I were to have any problems. So do we have a problem, Brian? No, Karen, we don't. I didn't think so. Kyrie, I need you to get up and go cut the grass. Ma'am, I'd like you to remove the bass from your voice and remember whose child you are speaking to. You can call your husband and tell him we have a problem. I'm not cutting your grass. Get off your damn phone and go cut the grass like I asked you to! What was that? Kyrie! Was that your stern voice, Karen? Go cut the grass! It didn't give what it was supposed to have gave. You are unbelievable! Mom, I'll help Kyrie cut the grass. No, you will stay inside and wash the dishes. Kyrie will go outside and cut the grass. Hey, Karen, you need to calm down right now. Brian, don't tell me to calm down. You know what? You go outside and cut the grass with them. How about that? Go out there and cut it with them. You're just mad because my dad is going to leave you and go back to my mom. You know what? I'm going to handle you like your mother handles you. Kawhi, 
Go get my whip. You mean your belt? Whatever it's called, go get it. Mom, I'm not gonna go get your belt. I think you should call dad. You know what? Fine, Kawhi. I'll go get it. You stay right there, mister. Brian, I got it. Oh, you got it? Hello. Hey, Grandma Tammy. Hey, baby. Karen was just yelling at me and Brian because we wouldn't go outside and cut her grass, and now she's threatening to go get her master whip and whip us. She gonna do what? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Happy Mother's Day, Mama and Grandma Tammy. Oh, thank you, baby. Where's my Happy Mother's Day, Brian? I'm sorry, do you have children? Brian! What's up, everybody? Happy Mother's Day. Uh, Grandma Tammy, I'll tell you this is my baby mama, Versace. Tamika, that's the baby mama that got rabies. Um, excuse me, old lady. I don't know who you're referring to, but not me. To make a call animal control, it has lost its mind and it is speaking to me. Savan Versace, there's food over here if y'all want some. Happy Mother's Day. Brian, how's your arm? Grandma, can you make me a plate, please? Brian, what's wrong with your arm? Uh, Brian, what you want on your plate? Everything, Grandma, everything. Brian LaShawn Jackson! What is wrong with your arm? I got a rash, Mama. Let me see it. <sighs> Grandma told me said I can get it and she said you can't touch me in front of her. Now, Brian, I did not tell you to tell her that I said that. <laughs> and yon yon now. Grandma. So you got a tattoo. <laughs> See, normally I would have lost my shit by now and beat your ass. But I have a surprise of my own. Me and y'all's father have decided to work things out. What? Not only that, he will be moving back in this house in June. And I can't wait for him to see that, Brian. Because he gonna tear your ass up and I am going to watch. From now on, I'll be letting him do the beating around here. Surprise. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to me. There's no easy way to say this, but Karen, I'm leaving you. You're leaving me and going where, Michael? Me and my ex-wife have decided to work things out. Oh, come on, Karen. Your disrespect towards my children, making my son go outside and cut the grass by himself, Kawhi could have helped him. Kawhi is light-skinned. He has oh sensitive my skin. God. Michael, I'll be a single mother. Is that what you want? Oh, you'll get through it. You have daddy's money. You'll be fine. And I'll still be involved in my children's life, just not yours. Are you trying to cry? It's not working, honey. You know what? <laughs> I forgot who the fuck I was. You know what? Go back to that hood rat. Michael, you just go back to that fucking hood rat. Okay? You'll regret every moment of this. Leaving me for Shaniqua. Watch your mouth, Karen. I would hate to have to put you in the trailer park. <gasps> Savon, Jordan, y'all wouldn't happen to know what happened to my sushi. It's no longer in the refrigerator where I left it. <laughs> I must have missed the joke. Ma, what makes you think me and Jordan had anything to do with your sushi being gone? Savon, who is Ma? I ain't no damn hoochie, and I don't know why you're trying to act all calm in front of your cousin. You know damn well when I pull this belt out, you and your brother start sweating and shaking like a stripper. Mama, we didn't touch your sushi. See, Savan, you, you, know, you know I ain't fucking stupid. You know I ain't stupid, okay? Who touched it, Casper? It's only two of y'all in this house, including me. 
and I didn't touch it. Jordan? It wasn't us, Auntie, but I did see Kyrie in the refrigerator last night. It looked like he was eating something. Boy, is you stupid. So, Jordan, you're accusing my baby of eating my sushi. I think so. See, Jordan, I don't like putting my hands on my baby. So for your sake, you better hope he actually ate that sushi or I'm coming for your ass. What? You told on Kyrie. Not only that, you lied on Kyrie. So he's a kid. What the fuck is he going to do? We're no longer in trouble. That's all that matters. Jordan, you gotta ask your mom if you can come back next week. Oh, for sure. We was lit this week. What's up, Kyrie? Hey, no hard feelings about the sushi. I just knew you weren't gonna get in trouble. I got my ass beat, Jordan. My mama lost her damn mind and actually put her hands on me over some sushi that I didn't even eat. Oh, you be all right. Hey, you see my bag? I thought I left it right here. I swear I left it right here when we went upstairs. You seen it, bro? You mean this bag? Give me my bag, Kyrie. Jordan, do you love your life? Kyrie, give me my bag. In this cheap ass bag, there is a box of condoms, blunts, and a lighter. Your mama is upstairs with my mama and they'll be down shortly. Once they get down, I'm going to empty this bag in front of them. Yo, oh, are you Kyrie. serious right now, Kyrie? Please don't do this. Savon, get your brother. What do you want me to do? Tell her that I ate the sushi? Fine, I'll tell her. Now give me my bag. Oh, Jordan, this, is, this isn't this is a negotiation. I'm telling you what's going to happen when she comes downstairs. And girl, I seen that the other day. Jordan, did you find your bag so we can go? It's right here, Aunt Tanya. Kyrie, stop! Oops. What the hell? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. How clumsy of me. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan, what is this? Mama, I can't explain. I don't wanna hear that shit. What the hell is this in your bag? Hey, auntie, I think it had something to do with the girls that were over here the other night in Savon's room while my mama was at work. In Savon's room. Ma, he's lying. Ma, he's lying. I swear, he's lying. Mama, you have no legitimate reason to not let us go out this weekend. I don't need a damn reason to say no. If I say no, it's no. I don't need no damn reason. Yes, you do. What kind of parent just says no to everything? This one. She does. Now take y'all asses to y'all's room. I don't want to see y'all until dinner time. And since y'all got so much fucking mouth, dinner has changed from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh my God, you don't let us go nowhere. Brian, you will lose your life by talking back and walking away from me at the same time. <sighs> oh, hell no. Lord, I'm about to lose two children and I don't want to. I'm not a bad parent, Lord. I take care of my kids. I'd like to see the gates of heaven, so I need you to give me the strength. Oh, no, they got me fucked up. Brian and Kyrie Jackson, get y'all's asses back in this kitchen now! <laughs> y'all off the chain today. I'm only gonna ask one time. Which one of y'all slammed my fucking door? My belt is rated E for everybody. Somebody better start talking or everybody finna catch this belt. Okay. Ree, did your brother slam the door? You tell me the truth. I'll let you go out this weekend. Really, mama? 
Really? He didn't slam the door, mama. But he did sneak out the house last night. So that means I can go out this weekend? Kyrie, for once, for once, we were protecting each other. What is wrong with you? So you slammed my door. Damn, I hit the jackpot. I was looking to tap one ass and now I get to tap two. So do y'all want it in the kitchen or do y'all want it in y'all's rooms? Mama, why are you going around telling people that I put my hands on you? Because you did. How? Savon, you put your hands all up on me. I snatched the belt out of your hands. Assault? It was not. I prevented you from attacking me. You preventing me from attacking you was an attack against me. Mama, you went and told everybody that I pushed you in between the washer and dryer. When did that happen? When you raised your hand up to stop me from putting my hands on you, boy, you might as well go ahead and slap me. You might as well push my ass to the floor and start kicking me. Brian, where you going? Outside. What's outside? The world. Now, will your answer remain the same or will it change? What is outside? Trenton is outside, mama. Hmm, how unfortunate that you now have to take your ass back upstairs to FaceTime that young man and tell him that you would not be going outside today. Mama, you are so homophobic. How am I, Brian, you love throwing that homophobic card at me. You are grounded right now, okay? That means you cannot see a little boyfriend. Now, my belt, however, is very homophobic. Take your ass upstairs. Ah. Was there something else? No, there wasn't. Mom, I need to talk to you. If you tell me that you're about to have another baby with that bat from hell, I'm moving out. Today's my last day in this house. Yeah, gather your thoughts. Before I go, all the money you took from me while I was growing up, I'm gonna need that back. What money, Savon? The money that people would give me on my birthdays and you would be like, oh, uh, I need the money for bills so you can have a place to stay. Or the money that I would get from cutting other people's grass that you volunteered me to cut and you still have the audacity to collect. I calculated all the money that you took from me growing up and it came out to about $5,475. I'll take that in cash or cashier's check or cash app. I should have swallowed your Tamika! Ass. I need you to gain control of this situation quick. Where is this coming from, Savon? Lately, you have been on 10. And I'm 18. I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with it. And you keep threatening to whoop me with the belt. I ain't scared of that belt, Tamika. Have I not proved that to you? <laughs> Mama, get him before I kill him. You better get him right now before I take him out. But then I thought about it. You've been experiencing hot flashes. You've been lashing out over unfolded clothes and unwashed dishes. I mean, it, it makes sense. You are experiencing menopause. Savon, get your ass out of my house. Get out. <laughs> I'm leaving right Where now. Where you gonna go? My baby mama house. Go stay with her then. She can buy the Pampers and 
formula for that baby. That baby that she'll never see again. I don't give a damn, Savon. You couldn't afford you the baby really, anyway. Really. I was taking care of that baby. You better get your ass out of my house right now. All right, I'm out. I'm, I'm leaving right now. I'm out. You done lost your damn mind talking about you moving out. You ain't got a pot to piss in. Where are you going to go? Oh, hell no. I know it ain't no... Oh, hell no. It, it might be the change. It, it might be. Michael. Michael, look. I have been calling you all day and you have not been responding and it's not okay, okay? Kawhi has not been listening to me and I will not tolerate it. You need to come home and handle it. Also... I know you didn't ask, but I've been doing fine without you. I've been doing magnificent. I've been keeping my mind stimulated by playing this game called Domino's Gold. Oh my god, I've won so many prizes just by winning games and competing. It's literally everything. Michael, please come home. I miss you. Karen! Get your ass off my porch now! Alright, now that Savon is gone, I'm gonna take over his room and you can take over my room. How the fuck do you get to decide who gets Savon's room? You know what? I don't even care. You're staying in your room and I'm getting Savon's room. Kyrie, I will go get mama and let her decide. Okay? All she has to do is take one good look at your filthy ass room. You got fucking underwear on your floor. Your room smells like feet. And what does your room smell like? Febreze, ass, and lubricant. You don't get tired of me fucking you up? Do I get tired of you fucking me up? When have you ever in your life fucked me up? I do not recall. Kyrie, it is nothing for me to go around this corner right now and beat you up. I'd like to see you try that dumb shit very much. I'd like to see you, Mr. Powerbottom, come around this corner and put your hands on me. Kyrie, all you gonna do is cry like a little bitch. Go on here, I'm not gonna get in trouble you. Just that just gonna put okay. your hands on me. I I'm going through something right now, um, a little change. And y'all are in here arguing about a room that I did not authorize either of you to have. And then y'all are in here talking about y'all are gonna fight. And I was waiting to see who was gonna actually go around the corner and neither one of you did. So Brian, proceed around the corner to fight your brother. Pussy. Kyrie, come around this corner and put your hands on your brother. You better not. I <laughs> do not have time for this, okay? I done already kicked y'all's brother out. You kicked him out, mama? That's no, no. He got tired of your emotional mood swings, kind of like what you're having right now, and then he decided to move out. You had no choice but to watch. Would you like to find out what happened that night, Brian? Would you like me to show you what happened that night? Is you ready for that? Are you ready for that energy with me? Okay, mama. What happened? I said, okay, mama. Both of y'all get the fuck out of my kitchen. What's going on, honey? Nothing, just looking at this possum that was at our doorbell earlier. Possum? At our doorbell? Oh yes, a very ugly possum. See? standing out here in the ghetto. It's not fair, Michael.
Michael, I need you to download this app called Super Local. It's an app that makes it fun to get to know your city, town, with your neighbors. It connects you with other locals so you can explore your city together and make new friends. At the same time, you can become the virtual mayor of a place by checking in more than anyone else in the last 30 days. Only one check-in per day counts towards capturing the crown. Michael, please come home. Please. She keeps popping up. Get rid of her or I will. Is it the hot flashes again, mama? Go get the door. Whoa, you said I don't pay any bills in this house, so the door is not mine to get. Do you love your neck? Because I will break it. Uh, this is Vanessa. What are you doing here? Brian, how are you? Timmy, I came to speak to you, mother to mother. Bitch, I haven't seen you since I put you in a hospital and now you're in my home. Because your son is in mine and I'd like to know why. Vanessa Savannah is 18. My parenting and him acting like a grown ass man in my house does not mix. Not that it's any of your damn business, but he chose to leave. It's my business because not only am I taking care of my daughter and mine and your grandchild, but I am now taking care of the father too. I understand that you have reached a point in life where you can no longer ovulate, but that is no reason to abandon Savannah. Brian, please escort this lady out of my house. <laughs> Tamika, I ain't going nowhere until we figure out what we're going to do about your son. He got my daughter pregnant and now he's in my house. I'm not about to take care of him. Vanessa, you will be leaving my house, dead or alive. But you will be leaving. I hope I'm not interrupting. Dad, this is not a good time. Michael, I know, I know you didn't just bring this bitch in my house. Tamika, what is this I hear about you kicking Savon out? Damn, I leave you to go back to my wife and you get back in here by kicking my son out? Oh, you said you left her? <laughs> Damn, Tamika, everybody trying to get away from you. It's a good day to go to jail. It is a good day to go to jail. I'ma give y'all to the count of three to get the fuck out of my house. Who the fuck do y'all think y'all talking to? Let me know, cause I know y'all not talking to Tamika Jackson. I will light each and every one of you to fuck up. Michael, you not, get out, get out, get out, get out, bitch, get out. feel better.